If you're looking for ways to stay on top of your to-do list and get even more productive with your online business, you're absolutely gonna love Trello. It's my favorite app for keeping track of my to-do list and I've been using it for over five years to literally run my entire business and my life. I'm Kim Jimenez, your digital marketing strategist and the founder of The Business Lounge. And in this episode, I wanna walk you through my personal Trello board and show you how I structure different workflows to make sure that I am staying on top of all my to-do list, but more importantly, that it's an enjoyable process, that I get more done in a day, and that I stay on top of everything I have to cover inside my business. So let's jump behind the computer and show you how to structure your own Trello workflow. All right, so here we are inside of Trello, and I just wanna walk you really quickly through my entire workflow. What's changed, a couple of tips that have really helped us over the last year to get more things done. So in order to create a new board, you wanna click Create New Board, and we are going to create a demo board. And so this is what you're gonna see when you just get started inside of Trello. I'm not gonna walk through every little detail inside of this video when it pertains as it pertains to Trello because we have a full-blown tutorial that we created last year. It's called How to Use Trello to Be Super Productive in Your Business. And I'm gonna be linking to that in the description box below. I'm sure it's gonna show up here as well in the YouTube cards. And you can check that out if you're just getting started. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna walk you really quickly through the premise of Trello and then we'll dig into my workflow board. So the first thing you want to do is, and this is totally a preference for me, but I actually like to make my Trello uh, boards very personalized. So I'm going to click on change background. I'm going to go to uh, photos and I'm going to select a nice background. I like this one. It's uh, colorful and pretty, but you can, you know, do like all kinds of searches here on the, the, uh, Trello little background section and it's actually in collaboration with Unsplash which is a great um, basically a great stock free stock image site so I'm gonna go ahead and select a background and we'll get rolling so when you're just getting started it can be a little bit daunting because you have like this blank canvas and you're like oh my gosh you know what should I be adding how do I even <laughs> begin to do this and that's why we have our free Trello workflow so you can literally get a starting point and figure out how you want to manage your Trello workflow. This is how I set up mine and you get to copy it for free, you know, on your own Trello account. Just go over to KimberlyAnnHumanis.com forward slash Trello and you'll see uh, the download link there and you can literally just go in here and copy this exact board for your own projects. Now, I know this can look like totally overwhelming and I'll explain how it works in a minute. We're going to go back to our demo board and just show you the premise. So basically Trello is a to-do list, right? And the way that you manage it is very simple. You outline your workflow from left to right. So first we could have here um, goals for the week. Right, that could be our first list or our first bucket. The next one could be something like uh, to do today. Then it could be in progress and then done. And then here we can have ongoing projects. So this is very simple, very basic kind of Trello workflow, right? And then when you're adding a new task or a new card, all you have to do is click underneath the bucket you want to add it to and then name it. So let's say that the goals for the week are create two new YouTube videos, get in touch with the bookkeeper, revamp uh, funnel X, right? Run Facebook ads, get in touch, no, not get in touch, answer the business lounge members questions. Okay. So these are some of the things that we're going to be working on over the next week. As an example, each of these cards has the ability for you to add descriptions, attach documents right here. 
which is really helpful. You can attach documents, you can attach web, web pages, really awesome stuff. And you can even add some power ups if you are in the business class plan. And basically, you can attach conversations from Slack, pull across from different types of other third party apps, etc. And then, of course, you can go in here and um, add labels, which is one of my favorite tools. And with these labels, you get to um, assign right priorities. You can categorize them in more detail and more depth. So let's say that the first label we have here is priority. And oops, no, I don't want to delete it. I want to create it. So I want to save it. And then I'm going to assign that label to this card. And I can add a description here, right? I can add bullet points um, of my video outline. So intro. Step one, two, three, and conclusion as an example. Boom. And so we have that outline. I want to make sure that we're saving it. And now I have it here. You can also add members to specific tasks, right? If I want to assign this to myself, I can add me here. And you can also add due dates. I want to make sure that I'm getting this done um, by Friday, etc. So these are all really great tools. You can copy the card, you can move the card, you can also add a checklist, which is super helpful if you have, let's say, one of these tasks that requires more than one step. So you can go in here and um, write to do and have steps, right? Like for example, outline first video, then you can go here and shoot the video, edit and upload as an example. And so all of those checklists, as you complete the steps, you can see the progress bar. And when you X out of it, you'll also see, you know, how many steps you've completed. So this is the basic premise of Trello. And once you have these goals set up, you can move them as you accomplish them, right? If you're going to get started on the specific task or the specific project for that day, once you are kind of halfway there. I like to move it to the progress, um, you know, kind of bucket or category. And then once it's done, I move it to the done list. And that's the basic gist. Very simple, very straightforward. So let's go to our back here to our Trello workflow board that we have set up for you guys and show you some of like the little tips and little tricks that we use just to stay on task and not go sane, insane, <laughs> like stay sane, I should say. So, you know, for me, I manage the business lounge and we have hundreds of members and answering questions there every single day. Plus I have a YouTube channel, a podcast, a blog, right? I have social media. I have a team that I need to manage. And so we have, we send newsletters, we run promotions, we run campaigns. I release new courses inside the business lounge. And so there's a lot going on. And or in order to stay on task and not get overwhelmed, these are some of the steps that I take. So number one, and this is really important, I always plan my week ahead of time. And that has really helped me. It's something that I've only been doing, um, I would say, over the past couple of weeks, and it's helped me so much. Before then, I always, always planned my day the night before, but now I do both, and I love that. So as you can see here, instead of just creating a ton of tasks, I actually have a separate board called weekly schedule. And this helps me plan out my entire week. It's separate from my daily, you know, to do's or my big picture goals. And this just helps me keep super, super focused. So I know that, for example, these are all the things I accomplished last week and they're not in detail. These are just like initiatives, right? Like big picture goals that I have for these individual days. So for example, um, today, I need to go in and run a new set of Facebook ads. I'm going to be focusing on funnels and I'm going to do a, I just finished a coaching session. So those are the two big picture goals for me on this specific day. Uh, tomorrow, I have a little bit more things that I want to accomplish, but I know I'm probably not going to get all of them done. So three of them have to be the priority. And so I'll go in here and say, okay, so these are the things that are going to be my priority. I'm going to add the label and add that here. And I only select three items that are a priority. The other things are kind of like wish list items, right? Awesome. And then I'll do the same for Thursday and for Friday. The things that I don't get accomplished in terms of like big picture 
initiatives in my business, I'll go ahead and move over to the following week. And that just helps me, again, just, you know, let's say we move this to Monday, helps me keep focused. It also helps me to evaluate how I'm doing and what I've been able to get accomplished over the month, last month, right? So I, I'll keep track of these individual weeks. And it also helps me to stay really hyper-focused only on two to three big picture goals for the day instead of getting totally overwhelmed by my never-ending list of to-dos, as you can see here. So that really, really helps me stay super focused. This is the first thing I do whenever I start my day is I look at, okay, this is day is going to be dedicated to editing videos, running Facebook ads, and updating my website. This is all that matters. Yes, I have a bunch of other tiny admin tasks and things that I want to get done, but they're not a priority. And so that really, really helps me. And I hope that it kind of gives you as well some tips and some insight into how you can start organizing your week into more of initiatives instead of a thousand million little tasks that end up making you feel totally overwhelmed. The other tip that I have for you is, again, related to running things and in initiatives and organizing different projects. So what I've added here is ongoing projects. And these are things, right, the workflow runs in four steps, right? Goals for this week, current sprint, and progress, and done. And of course, you can change these names and adapt them to your personal um, workflow preference. But for me, the these right over here, all of these different categories uh, on this right-hand side are just there as kind of placeholders that help me organize different projects that I have going on, the things that I need to outsource, things that I want to work on next, etc. And so creating these um, kind of initiative cards that have you know, a nice little cover uh, image really helps me organize my tasks as well. So if I'm learning something, right, I'm going through programs, I'm going through workshops, etc. I add those here, right? I'm intentional about scheduling time to learn in my business. And so organizing that really helps me stay focused instead of just creating a thousand little cards. Um, if I'm going to do something with my website, I'll add that here. And then I'll just really consolidate all of those tasks under a single big picture card, right? And that really helps to keep me focused and not have a thousand little cards pending everywhere. Now, if I need to move one of these to-dos to my cards, I can always click here and say convert to card. And that immediately creates, you know, that task as a card on this list. So I can move this here to uh, my weekly my goals for the week, et cetera. And so again, just having everything organized, you know, with promotions, with what's going on with the blog, with YouTube, with Facebook ads, with Pinterest, um, funnels, admin, all of that helps me to really consolidate my to-dos and not feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just not making progress. Now, whenever I'm done with a specific task inside one of these projects, let's say I'm that's all I'm going to be uh, completing that day, I'll just move it back to ongoing projects because I know this is an ongoing thing that I'm always going to be working on in my business or that I'm going to be working on for a period of time. So again, that just helps me to just stay focused. I know I'm going to get this question and that is, how do you get those labels? to show off here uh, on your card and it's very simple all we did was we created some canva images um, added them here to the card via the attachment so you can add you know these labels of course in turn like if you want them to be images you can just add them here and then you just uh, click on make cover and you can toggle between them so you can see that they're are just being changed. So that's really, really simple, but I just think it makes Trello more visually aesthetic and more visually pleasing, and that's a big deal. And last but not least, I always like to assign a specific dollar amount to each of my tasks, and that just represents how much this specific task should yield, right, should return an ROI, return on investment, based on the importance of that specific task. So if I think that um, this task right here is, you know, creating YouTube videos is going to really generate a lot of revenue for my business, 
then I'll go ahead and add that. And that's a really good way to stay accountable so that you're only focusing on tasks uh, that are a priority in your business and that are going to actually yield a return. So it's really easy to get cut off you know, just doing tons of little tasks here and there that are not actually going to create revenue for you. So I like to create these labels and just add here, you know, is this going to be $10 an hour? Is this going to be, um, you know, a thing where I'm going to be making $100 an hour or $1,000 an hour? And that can really, really help to keep you super accountable. So we're going to add the rest of these here. I just wanted to show you how we do it. And you can select, you know, what makes sense. So let's say this task, you know, is going to, it's going to take me three hours, but I know that it's going to produce a return because YouTube gives me a lot of exposure. So that could be, you know, there a really good idea. So I know that um, creating content for the business launch is going to, you know, be a task that is going to generate thousand dollars an hour, for example. And this isn't totally accurate, okay? I'm not saying you're definitely going to generate that amount, but just as a basic principle, always do that because it also helps you figure out where are some of the areas that you should be outsourcing more of your tasks. And, you know, these are admin tasks. These are things that I probably shouldn't be working on anyway in my business. So I'm going to go ahead and tag it as $10 an hour kind of task. And I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what, this is something that I need um, to delegate. So I'm going to create a label that says delegate. And I'm going to ship this out to one of my team members, so on and so forth. You know, attaching these labels is really important and it'll keep you accountable and give you a better perspective of, okay, this is how I need to be spending my time in my business. Now, I know I'm going to get this question in the comment section, so pay attention. If you want your labels to show up the way they do um, mine, usually Trello labels only show colors, but if you want the text to also show up, again, I use a really nice Trello extension um, via the stylish uh, extension, the Chrome extension. So I'm going to link to that as well so you can check it out and add it to your own trello board so i hope that you found this tutorial helpful if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to come over to kimberlyannhumanez.com forward slash trello to get your copy of my personal trello board and i hope that you stick around let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already i will catch you on the next one and if you're interested in taking your productivity to the next level definitely catch up on our productivity series it's going to be linked in the description box below we have a couple of videos about five or six that are going to help you get even more out of the time you're already spending and investing in your business so you can get more are done really get to that next level and grow your business i am kim jimenez signing off thank you so much for being here with us bye for now so you know how building an online business can be totally overwhelming you're probably learning new strategies from youtube other blogs podcasts and taking courses that are all great but sometimes give you contradictory and even confusing advice I get it. It's hard to filter through which strategies you should be implementing right now to grow your online business versus the ones that you should stow away for the future, you know, when you're actually ready to implement them. And that's exactly why we designed the online success path. Inside, we broke down the six stages of a successful online business. Validate, launch, hustle, breakthrough, profit, and scale. And we designed a complete roadmap inside the Business Lounge membership just for you. Inside each stage, you will find a step-by-step -step action guide tailored to the specific challenges you'll encounter during the stage of business you are currently at, complete with getting started tips so you can know exactly what to expect, video tutorials so that you can implement new strategies, action items so you stay on track, plus full-blown courses to help you focus only on the tasks that will accelerate your progress right now and take you to the next level in your business journey while keeping you accountable and overwhelm free. So if you're ready to take your online business to the next level, get started at jointhebelounge.com.